This is the current champion, Jason Myers, with 14 straight wins against 12 unique opponents. Watch this episode to see if he can win his third car and possibly bring his winnings over $1.4 million. Find out as... From Grandma Studios Inside MVG, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tear Tic Tac Go! Now let's welcome that infatuated host, Turd Ferguson! I cannot help that I have flatulence. It was what I ate for dinner. All right, with that being said, I would like to welcome everybody back to Turd's Tic Tac Toe right here in Grandma Studios on the MVG Television Network. If you have not seen what has been happening for the last, oh, I don't know, what seems like a millennia worth of episodes, we have had one of the greatest champions that any show here at MVG has ever seen. And tonight, he is going to be looking to see if he can win himself not only a new car, but if he can tie history. But what, what does he have to do to do that? Well, he's got to go up against a new competitor. So, Travis, will you introduce us to the champion and who's new challenger? Of course. Our champion comes to us from New Orleans, Louisiana. He is a meat cutter. Please welcome Jason Myers. Our challenger, a new unique opponent. He is a guest ambassador from Knoxville, Tennessee. Please welcome Brandon Hinkle. All right, well, I will start this off first of all saying, Jason, welcome back to Turd's Tic Tac Doe. And I did speak with the people in the back. We found out that hissing noise we've been hearing the last few episodes, that believe it or not, that was actually Grandma Bergman farting. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's what why? that was. So I have, I have confirmed with uh, one of my directors, uh, her grandson, John, that she is stashed away yeah. in the very furthest depths of the studio and everything should be okay this evening isn't that correct john yeah, absolutely but we were going to move her to the prices right but she says no if bob's not there it ain't worth it so that's what she said okay well let's uh let's just make sure that we uh, keep her locked away at least until uh, jason uh takes us for a couple more victories tonight and then you know we'll let her free and <laughs> Let let Jason have to deal with it. But we welcome back to the stage Jason Myers. Jason, good to see you again. What's up? Yeah. Well, right now what's up is both my blood pressure and your winnings. So um, we heard Travis there talking in the intro. You actually, in the end of the last episode, crossed that $1.4 million mark. So far, in your 14 victories against those 12 unique opponents, you have won $1,442,285. I, I, yeah, I know we've asked you, has it sunk in? We've asked you a lot of things. I'll, just, I'll ask you this this time. How proud of you are, are you of yourself? I mean... I guess um I guess I could say I'm proud of myself in that aspect, but it's it it's still one big blur to me right now. <laughs> well, uh, I, I know you had uh, told me off camera last night that uh, the nerves are really starting to get to you, so I definitely hope you have uh, packed some extra bottles of Pepto uh, so that we can keep those uh, stomach juices under control this evening. So go ahead and tell our studio audience out there a little something about you that maybe they haven't already found out over the last, oh, I don't know, seven episodes. Uh, it's, it's been a long while since I've done this version of my intro. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, let's see, I was born on the, the right side of a one-legged cow in a field out in the middle of nowhere. I like to be checked in with airport luggage, uh, along with all the people that get checked in there with it. Well, all right, 
right then. That sounds like the beginnings of a great definition. So, <laughs> well, yeah, but we uh, we definitely welcome you back here tonight and wish you the best of luck as you get ready to face a new opponent who, as we know, if you can defeat him, you will win your third brand new car. And Travis, if you would real quick, will you remind Jason what car it is he's playing for? The car is that 2022 Lexus ES350 F Sport with the 3.5 liter V6 engine, all the luxury options, and it's worth $45,450. So, of course, if you get a hold of that car there, Jason, that by itself is going to put you very, very close to hitting $1.5 million. So tonight is quite a big night for you. So, as we said, you have a new challenger, though. This will be your 13th unique opponent as you have been here, which is quite interesting for what we've done on our show. Um, this is the first time that we have seen him in a while. Taking a quick look in my book. Yeah, we've not seen him in a solid 15 episodes, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tic-Tac-Doe stage. It's Brandon Hinkle. Hey everybody, it's great to be here. Hi Richard, it's so good to see you. Hey, it's good to see you. Always always uh, awesome to hear your your happiness and your enthusiasm for, for the games that you get to play. So this is the first time that you have went up against Jason. So what do you believe will give you the best opportunity to be that person that finally takes Jason down? No, I'll just have to give it my best shot, you know. Like I always do in the other games, just give it my best shot, and that's all I can do, and may the best man win, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. And I know they said that you are from Knoxville, Tennessee, and that you are a guest ambassador at uh, the Burger King. So tell our audience there at home just a little bit more about you. I'm a game show lover, and I love Dollywood, and I even have a beautiful girlfriend named Carly Sharp, and I love you, babe. And I'm a big fan of The Mass Singer, which is coming up, if you're all just hearing this. We're only six days away to The Mass Singer Season 7, and nine days away to Dollywood opening up. I'm ready. Well, there you go. And for those of you there at, at home trying to figure that out, we are filming this in March of 2022. Hopefully this episode will be airing before uh, March of 2023. But I'm making no promises. So, huh, with that being said, Brandon, we welcome you the, the best of luck here tonight. And as we get ready to get into our game, of course, we always let the new challenger decide the two bonus categories for the game. So, Brandon, if you would, please... Give me two numbers between 1 and 15. Okay, let's take number 5 for my, for my girlfriend's birthday. And that was and 5? Number, yes, sir. Number okay. 5, please. And lucky 7, please. 5 and 7. All right, well, with that being said, we are ready to get into our game. As we know, we're trying to get three X's and O's in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. We do so ans by answering trivia questions. And we're going to do so tonight in these categories, and they are Tourist Sites, Player Pass, Space Age, Famous Pairs, Psychology, Potluck, Rock Music, the bonus category, and English Language. You'll notice there are those two flashing red categories. Those are those extra special ones that Mr. Hinkle just chose for us. And we'll talk more about those if you select them during our game this evening. All right, with that being said, Jason, as our 14-time champion... You get to select first, as always, so choose your first category, and let's get to rock. I'll start with rock music. All right, rock music in the lower left-hand side. All right, Jason, here is your question in rock music. What alternative rock group had big hits in the 1990s with the songs Jeremy, Evenflow, and Come? Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam is the correct answer. You got it. Of course, our outer box is worth $250, center box is worth $500. So we've got $250 to get started off, and we shuffle. All right, Hinkle, we're back to you. All right, let's do the bonus category. I'm curious what that is. All right, the bonus category in the lower right-hand side. So here's how the bonus category works. I'm going to ask you a three-part question. If you answer all three parts of this question correctly, 
you will get that box and you will immediately get another turn. Here is, is your first one. San Francisco, San Diego, or San Jose. Which of these California cities lies the furthest north? San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. Second question. Between Brisbane, Sydney, or Melbourne, which of these Australian cities lies the furthest south? Sydney? No, I'm sorry. It's not Sydney. It's actually Melbourne. Oh. oh. All right. Nothing doing there. Good try. You did get one out of the three, but nothing to add to the pot right now. So we still got 250 there. We shuffle. All right. Back over to you, Jason. Rock music again. All right. Back to the rock in the left center side. What pioneering singer-songwriter had big hits with Old Boy and That'll Be the Day? Uh, I could picture him in my head. Uh, 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 I'm going to say Roy Orbison. I can't remember his name. Uh, no. no, I'm sorry. It's Buddy Holly. Ah! Yeah. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that... That Jason Myers has just yeeted himself off of the stage. Yeah. Uh, I had the face, I had the oh. face and the glasses, but I couldn't put a name to it. Yeah, sorry about that. Nothing doing there. Still 250 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Hinkle. All right, let's do space, uh, potluck, please. All right, potluck in the upper right hand side. How many events are there in a decathlon? Ten. Ten is the correct answer. Well done. I will remember what you got from the Summer Olympics. Uh, there you go. All right, we got five here in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Jason, back to you. Let's try English language. All right, English language in the center middle. Jason, what part of speech is a verb that modifies an adjective? An adverb. Adverb is correct. Well done. 750 in the pot. We shuffle. <laughs> All right, Hinkle, he's got you a little bit on the ropes. What do you want to do? I'll take the bonus category again, please. For All the right. block. Bonus category. You need to get this question correct to have a vertical block of Jason. And of course, if you get this correct, you will automatically get another turn. All right, here's your first question. Two inches, three inches, or four inches. What is the ideal depth of the level of water in a bird bath? Two inches. Uh, repeat. Two inches. Are you saying two? Yes, sir. Two inches is correct. So there's your first one. All right, your second question. In 1937... Hormel Foods were the first to introduce which canned meat? 1937, you said? 1937. Okay. I believe that was chili. No, I'm sorry. It was actually spam. Oh! Yes, and as a lot of people say spam, it stands for stuff posing as meat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so true. Unfortunately, nothing down there, but we've got $750 in the pot right now, so we're ready for a shuffle. All right, Jason, we're over to you. English language for the win. All right, English language. Jason, get this question correct. You are going to have a vertical tic-tac-toe. You will add $1,000 in money to your winnings, as well as winning that brand new Lexus. So those two things together will bring your overall total, let me see if we can get this one right, to one million four hundred and eighty eighty-eight thousand seven hundred and thirty-five dollars if my math serves me correct. So no pressure at all, Mike. Not a bit. <laughs> All right, here comes your question. Jason, what is the study 
of the English language called. So for tic-tac-toe and your 15th win, name the study. Linguistics. You have tic-tac-toe. Oh, my God. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your television, game, your hearing aids, <laughs> anything of the sort. Jason Myers has done done it again he has won his 15th game here of tic-tac-toe jason we will come back to you in just a moment to see if we can sort through all of this but first brandon hinkle you came in here you played a fantastic game you had some really good strategy going for those bonus categories you were actually yep. set up there with the last one had you got that correct you were set up to sneak in there and get a big upset win Unfortunately, yeah. it just didn't go your way. Tell it. Tell me right now. How are you feeling? Oh, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm all right. You see, I get my dick in my best shot. You know, Jason here is a good man and a good, great player. Well, hey, we are glad that you came back. You played with us again. You have been a very good player with us so far this season, and we mm -hmm. do hope that you will get another opportunity to join us here on the stage as we are on our countdown at this point to the end of our regular season. Ladies and gentlemen, give another big round of applause for Mr. Brandon Hinkle. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back again soon. I was going to say, absolutely. All right. Well, with that being said, we are going to take ourselves a commercial break. Jason is probably going to go back there and take a sip off of his special little Pepto smoothie. <laughs> and we will come back, and he's going to take another shot at Fluffy to see if he can take himself over the $1.5 million mark right here on Turk's Tic Tac Toe on the MVG Television Network. All right, everybody, welcome back. We've got Jason here who has just won his 15th game. We said in just a little bit, you are going to have a date with Destiny when it comes time for you to go to tie the all-time record. But first, you have a date with Fluffy. Did you bring the flowers? Yeah, burnt just like he likes them. Fantastic. Let's go over here and talk to him. <laughs> All right, Jason, once again, you are over here to take on your old pal Fluffy right here at his bonus game. As you know, we've got those nine numbered boxes up there. Behind them, we've got our dollar amounts. Those range anywhere from 100 to 500. You're going to try to put together $1,000 or more before you find your old pal Fluffy. And if so, you're going to win $50,000. Also, if you can find the tick and tack that you see flashing up there, then that will also get you the 50K. Right here at Turd's Tic Tac Doe, as you know and you have done before, if you can find Tic and Tac in either order in your first two selections, we will double it and bring you up to $100,000. So, it's been a while since you've done it, but then again, you've mm -hmm. also been here for a hot minute, so mm -hmm. I'm sure that you understand the rules as they've been read to you, so there is only one thing to say. And that's my favorite word, and it is Shoofle. Shoofle. <laughs> All right. So, nine boxes between you and over $1.5 million. Jason, good luck. Let's go to work. Three. At box three, we keep saying that's Fluffy's come. We know he doesn't have any hair left at this point, at least not till you leave. I do know he's been calling Rogaine, looking for some advice. Let's see. What's behind box three, Seamus? All right, $300 up there. We will give you that $300 right now. If you want to stop and go face your next opponent, or you can go on. I'll keep going. I assumed. Where are we going next? Six. All right, number six, the Snake Charmer's box. Let's hope this is a good one. Seamus, show us box six. Another $150. All right, we're up to $450. You're $550 away right now. 
stop and take that 450 or keep pushing towards 1,000? Keep going. All right. Five. Oh, box five, somewhere you have not went and visited very often. We sometimes know that Fluffy gets real, real lazy and does not move from there. Mm -hmm. Let's hope this is not that time. Seamus, show us box five. $400. All right. So there are at least, let's see, three boxes up here right now that would give you another $50,000. But I will offer you eight fifty if you're feeling a little too nervous to just walk away. I'll keep going. All right. Where's your fifty thousand dollars at, Jason? Eight. Box eight. Okay, you're getting real frisky here tonight. You went to his home and now you're in his in, in the hole with him down in the dungeon. Well, let's see. Do you have another fifty thousand dollars? Only the wise Seamus can tell us. Seamus, does he have fifty k? No. Oh my you God. tempted that dragon, and the dragon said, "Yo, shall not pass." But hey, that <sighs> is that is absolutely okay. And you want to know why it's okay, Jason? It's okay because you have three cars to your name, and with those cars and your other cash winnings. You are at one million four hundred and eighty-eight thousand seven hundred and thirty-five dollars right now. But of course, we want to see what's behind those other boxes. All right, audience, tell me, where do you think Tick and Tack are sitting at? One, one in nine. One in One in seven. <laughs> one in okay, nine. so so I'm here. I heard multiple one and nines. I heard a one in four and one in seven. So one is definitely. One of the popular numbers, no pun intended. All right, so let's see. Shama, show us what's behind the rest of the numbers. Oh, oh my. no, you two and wild. four. Two and four. <laughs> One was not involved. Well, there's nothing doing there, but Jason's got a lot going on. Ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to go to break, go call all your friends, your family members, because we may be about to see television history right here in just a moment. So, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to get everything prepared. We're going to make sure the balloons are blowed up. And we're going to find him another opponent right after this here on Turd Stick Packed Up. All right, back here on Turd Stick Packed Up. Jason, you're just under $1.5 million. You have 15 wins under your belt, defeating 13 different unique opponents. The first thing I've got to ask you is, how's it feel? It, it feels no different than the first game, to be honest. Maybe I'm just numb to the feeling. I don't know, but it's, it's, it just feels like another game. Well, as we all know... Um, this series here of Tic Tac Doe in its first season with me as the host. But before this, you've heard us mention already this season, um, our fearless leader, Brandon Scruggs, has already filmed three seasons of his Tic Tac Doe and is currently in his fourth season. And in all the seasons he has done, and I'm, to my knowledge, only the second host that's done a series here on this, um, the longest winning streak he ever had on his series was 16 games. Uh, done by another one of the MVG admins, uh, Miss Erica Saracino. So mm -hmm. right now, Jason is about to go for his potential 16th win, tying that record. But to do that, Jason, you have got to meet another opponent. Travis Coulter, will you tell him who this opponent is, please? Our next opponent is the domestic goddess. Her location, approximately 20 feet away from the host, it's Aaron Ferguson. <laughs> we save no expense here on Turd Tic Tac Doe to fly in the best and the brightest contestants there are. And there is no one smarter, at least that's what she told me to say, than Miss Aaron Ferguson. <laughs> And if you saw the look on her face right now, it would explain it all. All right, so Aaron, welcome back to your husband's show. How are you doing? 
fantastic. All right, so hopefully there's not too awful much feedback going on. Uh, but if there is, to those of you out there in the television world, I'm sorry. So we will start this by saying Aaron has absolutely no advanced knowledge of any of the trivia that is going to be given tonight, any of the categories. She knows absolutely nothing. Even on episodes she's not on, I don't tell her anything in advance. So, Aaron, as uh, this is um, your third time with us on the show this season, you actually uh, took down one of our, or actually our first champion of the series, John Bergman, after he had won seven in a row, and I believe it was seven or eight in a row, um, and then only to then turn around and get beat by the second longest champion that we've had, Shadrick Weatherspoon Jr. Um, so what did you learn in those first couple of times that you played the game? <laughs> That's a great answer. Um, so I'll say this. You, you also had the same feeling coming in going against John, but you filled in admirably there, and you actually went and you took John to task. So... You are up against another titan of trivia here in Jason Myers. So we're going to wish you the absolute best of luck, of course. Now, <clears throat> we heard that you're a domestic goddess. So, of course, that is true here at home. But what do you do for actual work? All right, personal shopping for Walmart. And then tell us a little just something else about yourself that the home audience might be interested in hearing. And I can tell all of you out there, she is a fantastic cook. She's uh, recently learned she's actually allergic to a lot of foods. And I actually believe that since she has found that out, her cooking's got even better uh, because she's had to really, really work hard to find things to be able to make. <clears throat> so, Aaron, we wish you the best of luck here. So with that, you know, as being the challenger here on the show, you are going to get to select our two bonus categories for this game. So if you will, give me two numbers between 1 and 15. 5 and 7. All right. So with that being said, again, I wish both of you the best of luck. So we know here that we are trying to get three X's or O's in a row, either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. And we do so by answering trivia questions. And in this game, they're in these categories. They are Revolutionary War, Player Pass, Comedy Movies, it means, as well, famous places, potluck, golf, the bonus category, and Africa. And somebody tell me if I'm not wrong, are those not the same bonus categories that Brandon Hinkle just chose? Mm -hmm. And yeah. I will let everyone in on a secret. Mrs. Ferguson was asleep while that game was going on. <laughs> so she had no idea. <laughs> But with that being said, of course, those two flashing red categories, those are our extra special ones that Aaron did just choose. And if we come up on those during this game, then we'll talk about them more at that time. All right, with that being said, history could be made here within the next few minutes. Jason Myers, you are the champion. Get us started. Comedy movies. All right, comedy movies in the upper right-hand side. Let's find you a question there. All right, Jason. What 1982 comedy film starred Nick Nolte as a cop who springs out a convict played by Eddie Murphy? Uh, coming to America, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. It's actually 48 Hours, mm. uh, which there were some sequels to that. And if I've actually heard correctly, there may be another one coming eventually. But nothing doing there. All right, so nothing's in the pot. We shuffle. <laughs> All right, Aaron, something we don't normally see here on the game is nothing on the board after Jason's turn. So, where do you want to go? It means as well in the center left. So, I'm going to give you two definitions that they have a word in common. Okay? It would be the same answer for the both of them. So, here comes your question so what word means these following two definitions the title of a nobleman and to check a number of things no guess all right nothing doing there the answer is to count so yes a count would be a nobleman and then of course to check a number of things would be to count them 
All right, so nothing doing there. So we shuffle. All right, Jason, we're back to you. I'll try my hand at it means as well. All right, it means as well. Again, I'm going to give you two definitions, and you're going to tell me the word that it has in common. Your two definitions are a time period, such as December 14th, and a type of fruit. Date. That is correct. You got it. Two hundred and fifty dollars added to the pot. We shall. All right, there. He's got himself an X on the board. Do not let this get away from you. All right, player pass in the center right. So I'm going to ask you two separate questions, or excuse me, I'm going to ask you a question. You can choose to either play that question, or if you feel like you don't know it, then you can pass. But then the next question you must absolutely answer. All right, here comes your question. Which cast member of the television show Hogan's Heroes became an American game show host, uh, most notably uh, the show Family Feud? Would you like to answer this question, or do you want to pass it for another? All right, so she's going to pass, and I think most of us here know that would be... Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson. All right, so you must answer this question. Aaron, name the Spanish artist, sculptor, poet, and playwright famous for co-founding the Cubist movement. You want to take a guess? Any any artist you might know of? All right, nothing doing there. That would be Pablo Picasso. All right, so nothing doing there. Still two fifty in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Jason, where would you like to go? Let's try the bonus category. All right, the bonus category. So, <clears throat> excuse me there. Of course, Jason, with this, I'm going to ask you a three-part question. If you answer all three parts correctly, you'll get that box, and then you will immediately get another turn. Mm -hmm. All right, so this could be really, really big for you. Here's your first question. Jason, in which U.S. state can you visit the American Museum of Natural History? California. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Other other uh, coast, my friend, be New York. Uh. New York, yeah. All right, so nothing doing there. We shuffle. All right, Aaron, he's leaving the door open for you. He does not do this very often. All right, back to it means as well on the lower left-hand side. All right, here's your two definitions. A pack of cards or a part of a ship. Deck is correct. You've got it. You're on the board with $500. All right. So with that being said, we have got a good start to this game. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll come back and see what happens as we finish out this game right here on Turks. Tic -tac -tac. All right, everybody, welcome back here to Turks Tic Tac Toe. We have got a fantastic game going here. We've got $500 in the pot. Erin had just gotten herself on the board with her first O. You'll see that we've got one each for them. Jason here is looking for his record-tying 16th win in a row, and it's time to shuffle. All right, Jason, we come back to you. It means as well. It means as well. Very popular category here today. A lump or heap of something and a Catholic service. Mass. Mass is correct. $750 is in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Aaron, go ahead and select. All right, it means as well in the center left-hand side. Your two definitions, an edible type of gourd. And a ball game with rackets. Squash is the correct answer. Well done. $1,000 is into the pot. We have an interesting looking board. We shuffle. Jason? 
Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, you know what? Potluck the blocker. All right, potluck. All right. You need to get this question here correct to have a vertical block <clears throat> Excuse me, of Aaron. In which country is the motorsport racetrack Fuji Speedway located? So for the vertical block of Aaron, name the country. Japan. Japan is correct. You have that vertical block of Aaron. $1,250 is in the pot. We shuffle. This game is way better than I think you believed it was going to be, Aaron. So go ahead and select. All right. It means as well. So you are looking here to have a vertical block of your own of Jason. And your question, your two definitions, to stumble and fall and a journey or a vacation. I need an answer in five seconds. Trip is correct. Right at the warning. $1,500 in the pot. You've got that block. We shuffle. All right, Jason, we come to you. It means as well. It means as well. Jason, get this question correct in the category of it means as well. You will have a horizontal tic-tac-toe. $1,750 will be added to your winnings, which will bring you to just over $1.48, or excuse me, $1.49 million, and you will have tied the record as a 16-time champion here on tic tac Doe. so let's get you the two definitions for it means as well a natural flow of water and one of the four seasons so for tic tac Doe and your 16th win name it spring he did it oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Myers has done it. He has tied the record here on Tic Tac Doe with his 16th win in a row. We will talk oh lots my. and lots more about that in a moment. But first, Aaron, you came and you threw every single last thing at Jason short of Kitty Bergman, to be honest, and you had a hell of a showing. You did get three boxes there, correct? We're going to give you the $250 for each one of those boxes. So that's going to be $750 here. We add that in with your previous winnings, and that's going to bring you to the season, <clears throat> doing a quick math here, to 53000 $250. Well done there. So tell us, how did you feel about that game? It, it is a really fun category. I, I will absolutely agree with you. Our uh, riders outdid themselves on that category. Um, so at the end of the day, after playing that game, what what do you think was kind of the thing that did you in? Would you say just kind of a, a maybe a um, ill-timed miss? Well, let me tell you, you stayed with him right until the end. It was not a blowout. We have seen Jason blow out his fair share of opponents here, and you are just one of the other ones that he has absolutely fought and battled with right till the very end. So we absolutely thank you for coming back again. I know. Um, a little uh, behind the scenes here to those of you that have been faithful watchers of the show. Aaron doesn't always love to come on and play a variety of games. She has her wheelhouse games, but uh, this just shows that I have got a good one here in her that she definitely tries to support me in the things that I enjoy to do, which is hosting these game shows. So, ladies and gentlemen, while she may have been Victim number 13, unique. She was a great player. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for, in real life, Miss Erin Montgomery.
All right, so with that being said, we're taking a commercial break, and then some early celebrations are going to begin right here on Turt's Tic Tac Doe. Don't go away. You don't miss it. Back here again, we've got Jason who just tied the all-time record with his 16th straight win. Jason, I'm sure you are just in a state of disbelief, but I need you to get it together because it's time for us to go over here and, and play a little game with the old pal Fluffy. You ready to do it? No. That's a great answer. Let's go. All right, of course, Jason, that you are no stranger to this game. This is your 16th time getting to play on this board. We've got our nine number boxes behind them. We've got our dollar amounts. Come up with $1,000 more before you find that dragon, and we're going to give you $50,000. You also see our tick and tack up on the board. Find those at any point through your journey on this board. We'll give you the 50 k Also, you know Turd's bonus. Find tick and tack in your first two selections in either order, and we'll double it and make it $100,000. So, of course, as you know, Jason, you even win the 50 k and you are going to go over the $1.5 million mark here. So, as we always say, there is only one thing to say, and that's Shuffle! All right, Jason, go out there and let's set some more records. Two. Box number two. Will you get to drop the deuce on Fluffy, or will he drop the deuce on you? Let's find out. Shame Shorts Box Two. All right, three hundred dollars. Okay, now are we going to start this again? <laughs> I'm running out of people to host. All right. So you've got three hundred dollars here, Jason. Would you like to take that three hundred and walk away, or are you going to keep going towards the fifty k? I'll keep going. All right. Where's the 150 at, Jason? Please don't do that, Jason. <laughs> please. Four. Box four. All right. That's, of course, Nell's favorite place to sit, the upside down chair. All right. Let's see. Is it 150 or maybe even a, is, just some got, other? If it is, he's got to go to Vegas. <laughs> this is true. Let's find out. Seamus, box four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jason, start booking your plane tickets. You're off to Vegas, sir. <laughs> what the hell? Travis, did you not hide the game schematics in the back? I think he found them. Well, F too bad those weren't chicken tack. Now were they? Yeah, yes. really. <laughs> All right, Magic Man. So uh, that means your um, next one to find, if you do it like last game, would be the $400 one. So... But I've got to ask you, you want to take 450 and get ready to truly go for history, or do you want to push on? I'll push on. He pushes on. I thought I found 500 last game. I don't know which one it is. It's a, it's still a blur to me. Six. All right, box number six. It was 400 last time because there was a chance you could have hit the 100 and not have won. So mm. let's see. Travis, get you get yourself ready. Start start doing your little special phrases because if he hits 400 here, you get to host the bonus game. Seamus, <laughs> please don't tell me he did it. Are you? Right. Travis, I need a moment. Finish this one up, please. Well, I, I guess Turd Ferguson will be back in a moment. <laughs> Um, sure. You want to stop or go? Hell, let's keep going. Yeah, you you heard him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, hey, don't do it now. Don't do it now. Don't find him. Yeah, really. That's that, that's oh, the ultimate man. unending to this thing. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, number one. Number one. Um, anything but the 100, anything but fluffy, no more suspense, show us number one. 
Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of this. <laughs> it just got a little thicker. Uh, mm. still, the, still one box that won't do it for you. Keep going. In a He's gonna keep going. Don't find the hundred. Everything else works <laughs> except for Fluffy. <laughs> Three. He's been there before. That's Fluffy's comb. Is it Harry? Or did he burn all that stuff off? Boy, that's got to smell bad. Show us number three. <laughs> Thank you. He's trying to finally save the show. It took him this many episodes, and now he's trying to save the show. Thank you very much there, Mr. Travis oh, Coulter, man. for your, your work here. We will be able to continue Why? to work and possibly feed our families. So, <laughs> Jason, you, you've kind of hit a little bit of a roadblock here lately. You were you were taking Fluffy to task in the 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 uh, first two thirds of your run here, but you've now actually lost to him three out of your last four attempts and four out of your last six. What what do you think's changed? He's on to me. <laughs> he's, he's on, on to me. My, he's on to me. <laughs> He's leaving you breadcrumbs of how to get the same numbers over and over again. But then he's pulling the, uh, the whoopsie doozle and he's changing where he's at. Mm -hmm. so, but, you know, here's, here's the good news for you. You have your 16th win and you right now have in winnings 1,490,480.50. We're going to take ourselves a commercial break. We'll come back and put a pretty little pink bow on this thing right here on Turd's Tic Tac Doe. Come back and see us. And there's a <laughs> Back here with our champion, Jason. Jason, as we continue to say, you tied a record today that has stood for quite a few years to my understanding with 16 wins in a row. Now that you finally tied the record, do you feel like you're prepared to go for the record to be yours and yours alone? It's a, it's a tough hill to climb. My gear should still be good, but I'll find out one way or the other. Well, that is true, and we're going to find out all about that the next time that we come back here to Turd's Tic Tac Doe. I know that's what everybody was just really looking forward to hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate all the support you have given to our show so far. We are having so much fun doing it and for making this content for you, just like I know Brandon enjoys making all of his content as well as all of us other people here that are putting things up for you each and every day, both on the MVG channel and on individual channels. So for now, that's all we've got here from Tic Tac Doe. Turn, tune in again next time to see if Jason can become the longest reigning champion in Tic Tac Doe history. But from now, that's all we got. I'm Turd Ferguson, and you sure as hell aren't. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.
Tic-Tac-Toe is a Grandma Studios production in association with MBG Productions. We're still looking for an editor to finally be able to edit this broadcast. See you in a moment!